It's time to rank every city in New Zealand from worst to best. This is the video that people told me not to make. They said it would offend everyone and I said no. Kiwis and the people of New Zealand have an absolutely unrivaled sense of humour and they will not mind one bit. So let's begin, but let me quickly remind you there is no such thing as a bad place in New Zealand. Every single city has its own beauty and its own charm, so much so that the city that I've put a second worst, I actually had one of the best days in my life. So let's begin and let's find out which city is worst, which city is best and everything in between. Kicking us off at 17, it is Invercargill. Now let me state, Invercargill is incredibly cool. It's the southernmost and westernmost city of New Zealand, and it's in fact the southernmost city of any Commonwealth nation in the world. You've got Bluff Oysters nearby, you've got Stewart Island nearby. It's just, well, it's just quite expensive to fly to and it rains a lot, so that's pretty much the only negative that I could find for Invercargill. Number 16, it is the legendary, the amazing Palmerston North. Again, I love Palmy. It was a lot of fun, but it is kind of the butt of a lot of jokes from other Kiwis saying how rubbish and bland it is. I actually really liked it. The day that I went there, oh my god, the sun was shining. We watched the rugby, we went to the pub. It was so much fun and it's a great place to be if you're a student as well. To live there permanently, not sure I could handle it, but honestly, for a day trip, loved it. And in 15th place, it is Wellington. Now, I have lived in Wellington for the entire three and a bit years that I've been in New Zealand, so I feel somewhat qualified to talk about it. And let me say now, Wellington is one of the coolest cities in the world. The amount of culture and excitement that it packs in to a small space is pretty impressive. What I will say, though, is the weather is an absolute joke and the rents are ridiculous. They are utterly ridiculous. I've actually got a really nice landlord, but my God, have I heard some bad stories. So Wellington, because of the wind and the rent, you're in 15th. Here we go in 14th place. It is the amazing Hutt Valley. Now I know that Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt are actually two separate cities, but for argument's sake, let's combine them into one. I will say Lower Hutt is incredibly cool and I love it more than Wellington because it's got a mall, it's got good shopping, it's got a great cinema that isn't always booked out and ridiculously expensive. It's a really fun place to be. Upper Hutt has Brewtown. It has, oh, what's that other thing it's got? A swimming pool. It's got a swimming pool called H2O Supermax Splash Ready Extreme. I quite like it. So there we go. Hutt Valley in 14th place. In 13th, it's Wanganui. Wanganui, not much to report, but I actually thought it was pretty cool. It has a nice big river running through it. The city centre was really nice. Wanganui is just all right. In 12th place, it's a city that has an incredibly special place in my heart. Somewhere that I visited earlier this year and made a video about it. I love it. It is, of course, the Tron Hamilton. Hamilton gets a really unfair rep from the rest of New Zealand. Okay, fair enough. It's not going to win any awards for architecture or glamour, but honestly, Hamilton was fun. I genuinely enjoyed it, and I thought the people of Hamilton were amazing. Number 11, New Plymouth. What I will say to New Plymouth is this. Mount Taranaki looks incredible, and... I was given this on my first week in New Zealand. It's a sticker saying Taranaki Hardcore. So it's been on my weird Samsung tablet thing ever since. So, you know, if that's not commitment to New Plymouth, I don't know what is. Naki Hard. In 10th place, it is Whangarei. This lovely northern city combines history and current relevance. Whangarei is awesome. The people of Whangarei are lovely. Number nine, we have Rotorua. Now, Rotorua might be known a little bit better for having a bit of a bad smell, but look, the incredible physical geography of that place. The geezers, the streams, the luge. Okay, the luge is kind of man-made, but still, it's incredible. And also, there is a huge amount of cultural relevance and history in Rotorua that cannot be ignored. Number eight, it's Tauranga. Tauranga, what a place. The mount, the views up there, 
absolutely sensational. Tauranga is a very, very vibrant and fun place. Honestly, it's one of the places in New Zealand that I could definitely see myself living. Tauranga is very cool. Oh, we're getting into the top seven. Now we're talking in seventh place. It's Gisborne, aka Gizzy. What a place. Power Pie on State Highway 35. Gisborne is an absolute must visit. Again, it's got a lot of cultural relevance, a lot of history behind it. Gizzy, you've smashed it. What an incredible city. Number six, it is Hastings. Now, anyone who watches my videos knows that I absolutely love Hawke's Bay. And what better place to be than Hastings? It is so fun. It's so cool. Great nightlife. You've got some great wineries as well. Honestly, Hastings, I love it. And good weather too. Moving into the top five, in fifth place, it is Dunedin. This place has got one a hell of a reputation. It is the wildest student party city anyone has ever heard of. It's the home of the iconic New Zealand band 660. It's got the steepest street in the world. It's got the craziest street in the world, which I think is called Castle Street. Should have probably checked that, but there we go. And also, have you seen the train station? It's absolutely stunning. Dunedin, I believe, is Gaelic for Edinburgh. So anything that's anything to do with Edinburgh is cool in my book, but honestly, Dunedin, pretty damn good. Number four, I did say there was nowhere better that I'd rather be in Hawke's Bay than Hastings, but I mean, come on. Napier. Napier is incredible. The Art Deco buildings are stunning. The beach is so cool. Sadly, you can't swim on the beach because there's a big drop and a riptide, so be a bit difficult, but honestly, what a place. And in 1931, there was a huge earthquake in Napier, and in fact, some of the stones from the rubble of that earthquake actually line the gorgeous beachfront still to this day. And also, shout out to Thirsty Whale. They do a very good brunch. And now in third place in the top three, the bronze medal goes to Auckland. Tamaki Makoto. Auckland is an incredible city. A lot of people in New Zealand don't actually like Auckland. I think it kind of goes against everything New Zealand stands for. It's flashy, it's loud, it's garish, but my God, is it exciting. I genuinely love going to Auckland. Admittedly, I've never lived there, so I've never had to suffer the commute. I've also never had to suffer the annoying rail link, which has been being built for 972 years. So yes, I can understand why people might not like Auckland, but honestly, if we're talking about places to visit, it's incredible. And here we have the top two cities of New Zealand. In second place, it is a city which is incredibly close to my heart. I visited there last year and I absolutely fell in love with it. I am, of course, talking about Christchurch. Everyone knows Christchurch has been through some insane things in the past 10, 11 years. Things that you wouldn't wish upon anybody but it shows its resilience, it's standing strong. And please, when you go to Christchurch, check out the art gallery. It is one of the most moving, humbling, and incredibly profound places I have ever been. Seeing the map and then the mural on the wall saying, the city that shines, I've got no shame in saying, I shed a little tear. Christchurch, you are amazing. So here we are then, the number one city in New Zealand. What is it? What could it be? The one place that everyone in New Zealand seems to go crazy for, they seem to love. Of course, it could only be Nelson. Nelson is delicious. It's fun. It's vibrant. It's cool. It's sexy. It's got good food options. It's got good weather. It's got good everything. Honestly, Nelson is utterly, utterly enthralling. Whether or not I could live there right now, I don't know, but certainly when the time comes for me to be raising a family, I will see you in Nelson. That made it sound like we're all gonna raise a family together. Maybe we are, who knows? If it's in Nelson, count me in. So there we have it, New Zealand cities ranked from worst to best. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How much do you hate me after watching this video? For some of you, I'm guessing it's quite a lot. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to say, I am sorry. But seriously, you all know I love New Zealand. You know I love every city on this list. And if you're not from New Zealand, get over here. Honestly, you will love it.